This year I'm actually very pleasantly surprised by first the number of abstracts that we've received. It's been very exciting. It's also been very exciting to see how the residents and fellows have been using the resources at Montefiore to help do their research. In the future, uh, physicians will be leaders of teams, they already are, and not just practicing privately in a solo type practice. As leaders, they have to be part of generating new knowledge by research, which will also enhance their satisfaction and contributions to science. The work that we do uh, really looks at different risk factors uh, for various cardiac arrhythmias, uh, the most common being atrial fibrillation, uh, which is associated with significant morbidity and mortality throughout the country and the world. Uh, and we're basically looking at risk factors such as race, age, presence of heart failure, diabetes, treatment for hypertension, and how they vary by race and ethnicity. I'm involved with my mentors and collaborators in collecting data on pediatric patients with a rash called molluscum contagiosum and we're looking at different ways to treat it and bring old modalities that have worked in the past but haven't been shepherded into the new era and generate the evidence about safety and efficacy so we can start using these medicines again. This reflects um, both the great work that the residents are doing and also the accessibility of our research faculty um, to the residents. My project has been on finding possible biomarker or predictors of developing iris, which is immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome in patients co-infected with HIV and cryptococcal meningitis. The work highlights a correlation or some association between controlling patients' diabetes and controlling or improving their stomach movement or motility. One of the strengths of this year's selections is that uh, we've seen uh, novel case reports as well as write-ups of more typical entities that we're more familiar with. I am going into a subspecialty of dermatology. My research is um, differentiating two very similar entities within that. One is a benign entity and one is a form of melanoma. And so those are two very different treatment methodologies and, and ways of treating it. So it's very important to be able to have clues to help you figure out one versus the other. Many of the diagnostic tests that we currently order as physicians um, may not always be the best choice for the patient. So by creating these tools, we're really allowing doctors to see whether a test is appropriate.